Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming, guys. Today we're going to go hit up some of our favorite dumpsters. Hopefully score it really, really big. But before that, we're actually going to hit a couple new spots. I think even including a Dollar General for one of the first times. So, fingers crossed we score big there. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you're not already for awesome dumpster diving videos pretty much every single day. Without further ado, let's go get it. Alright guys, so we're actually going to start at our first EVS. We tried the Dollar General, like I said in the intro, and there was literally nothing in there, so I did not record it. But I was hoping we'd do a good haul. And there's nothing here, but you know what? I'm at least happy that... Okay, the recycling is not, but I'm at least happy this dumpster is finally empty. That's where they usually throw their good stuff at. And it looks like the personal trash is finally gone. So maybe tomorrow or sometime this week, we'll finally score here again. But anyway, let's go to our next spot. Alright guys, so now we're going to the row of four dumpsters. Just checked Bed Bath & Beyond, but it was absolutely completely empty. So we're going over here. Oh god, it smells so bad. I think this is um, a food dumpster. I don't even want to touch what's in there. This is all recycling. Good start. Alright, here's big bags of packing stuff. Regular trash bags, bunch of paper trash. Empty box. I'll check the other side of this one in a second. Ugh. I think this is Firehouse, if I'm right. Yep, it's Firehouse. I don't know what that is, but it looks dirty. See if, I don't know what this is, but I, this, oh my god. If anybody knows what this is, let me know. And if it's here tomorrow, we'll take it. If you know any where to sell it or if it can be salvaged or, um, oh, I don't even know what the word is. Heavy, man. For metal, I can't remember the word. Scrap? Scrapped, yeah. For anything, then let me know. It's probably good, like 20 pounds. This is what it looks like. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Time to check the other sides. Nothing right there. These boxes look like there'd be something in them, but they're just like filler boxes. And nothing in there. They feel like there'd be something in there. Um, it's all food. Well, that sucks. Anyway, on to the next ones. Alright guys, so we're back at our King Away CVS who just delivered beautifully yesterday. And let's see if they restocked their trash already. This had a little bit more candy in it last time. Oh, it's all gone. We left a little bit behind yesterday because there was just too much dumpster juice. I know it sounds grimy, but I don't know what else to call it. I just call it dumpster juice. There's some milk in there. That was a good full bag of Snickers. So there might be some candy over there. We're going to check in a second. There's a lot of wood pallets in here. I don't really know. I can't get around these. They're kind of thick. But apparently I just found some Snickers. Another bag of Snickers. Got any more. Oh, another bag of Snickers. Camera's in my face. Oh. Sorry. Some more Snickers. She hot. So we you. <laughs> Ew, they kind of smell like dumpster juice. No, it doesn't stink. It's just water, actually. But look at that. So we got a bunch of Snickers to add to the candy pile from CVS yesterday. Is that another pack? Yeah, another pack. Yes, it is. Throw it over there. Let's see if we got some more here. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Reese cups right here. I'm trying not to make too much of a mess. I don't want to knock anything out because we got to pick up what we get out because we're not douchebags and we don't make messes and leave it like some people. Uh, Looks like another bag of Snickers here. Look at that. Crazy. This is fun. Huh? Different kind. Different kinds of Snickers? Yeah. Let's flip this bag. I see there's anything else underneath. Yep. See anything else? Is this? It's milk, I bet. Oh, yeah. It's gross. Yeah. All right. Is this wire in here? Hold on. Oops. I try to be quiet as I can, but sometimes stuff yeah, happens. I'll, I'll help you. All right, what is that? Yeah. Just try not to get noticed. Um, it's a prong to something that's cut. So what is leaving in the trash? You know what? Pretty sure 
that's gonna be all of it today. That's real trash. These stupid wood pallets are making things very complicated. It looks like that's it. We'll take another pile of candy here and call it a day. So see you at the next spot. All right, guys, now we're at PetSmart. And whoa, looks like we got a lot of stuff here. And look at that. Are you kidding me? They slash the foods open so they can't be used. That is so douchey. Look how many there are too. Holy crap. And they sliced them up. Like why? Actually these ones, ew. Yeah, they're sliced. That's so messed up. Oh my god, look at these two packs. Look at that. I mean that's gotta be 50 pounds to 100 pounds of dog food. All slashed up because they don't want no one else to use it. Get out the way moth. Let's see what's on this side. Just more of it. Slash two bits. Turkey bacon, dog treats, slashed across the back. This should so be illegal, honestly. I don't even know why we check here. They destroy it, all of it. But that's just crazy sight to see right there. But anyway, you douchebags, you suck, and on to the next spot. All right, guys, now we're at five below, and there's a car in front, so I don't know if people are here or not. And we got another bag, no way. Hold on. Do we really? That is so loud. It looks like we got another bag of return from Five Below. Hold on one second, let me put this in the trunk. Every time somebody's in the store, like I put each individual bag in the trunk by itself, just in case they come out and we gotta split really fast. At least we got something. That looks like another one. Guys, it is two bags from Five Below. Hell to the S. Yes. Let's put that in the trunk. Let me look one more time. I think that was it. I think we just got the two. Yeah, that looks like cardboard. Check over here one more time. I gotta be absolutely certain. Yeah. Actually, I don't know what's in that little five below bag there. You see that? I've never seen one like this. Just cardboard. So that's gonna be it, but another huge haul from five below, hopefully, and on to the next spot. All right guys, so we just got back home and you know what? We ended up with a really, really good night. So we got a ton of candy here, once again, from the same exact CVS. This is why we call them the kings of waste. But not to mention now, we also got two bags. It looks like they're completely full of Five Below returns, hopefully, and stuff off the shelf. And the last one we had from Five Below was absolutely amazing. So fingers crossed it turns out the same way, but we'll go through those bags tomorrow. But I want to give you guys or show you this idea that we just had. Literally, just while driving around, we just came up with an idea. So get, give me one second. Let me get this off the table, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so what you see here is a huge plastic container we just bought from Walmart, and this is our goal. So right now, it's the beginning of August, early August, so we're going to have a couple months, but our goal is going to be to try to fill this entire bucket up with candy before we reach Halloween. So obviously, it's the last day in October, it's the beginning of August, but we have a little bit of time. So what we're going to do is... Every time we get candy from anywhere that's individually wrapped and the date on it is after Halloween of this year, we're going to open the bags up instead of just throwing or donating them somewhere. We want to open the bags up and pour all the individually wrapped pieces of candy in here and attempt, I don't know if it's going to be possible, that's a big container, we're aiming big, to fill this whole container up from the bottom to the top with candy before Halloween. And I want you guys to give me any type of suggestions you could think of. We want to think of a way to basically give out this candy to people in need kids in need just instead of just giving it out to kids that come to your door for halloween think of another way to give it out so if you got any, any ideas let me know in the comments but for now let's cut to a corny scene of filling it up with candy with crappy music in the background Alright guys, so right now, already, you can see we got a good chunk of this filled up and this is literally only what we found last night and today. So, two days worth of candy from our King Away CVS and we already got this much. So, let me know in the comments. Do you think we'll be able to fill this up before Halloween? Personally, I think it's going to be a piece of cake. We should have got a bigger one, but you never know. Wanted to get something that was achievable and not going to disappoint me when we only got like halfway. So, 
I think we'll get this done. Let me know what you think in the comments. But that's going to be it for today. So thank you so much for watching the video. And don't forget to come back tomorrow. We'll be going through those two bags of five below returns. Fingers crossed they're going to be epic. But again, thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos pretty much every single day. And don't forget now that we are selling dumpster diving t-shirts. If you want to buy one because you're an awesome dumpster diver yourself or you just want to support the channel, the link to those will be down in the description below along with our social media links and P.O. Box. And don't forget we do giveaways on the first every single month. Somewhere in the video is a secret word. Put it down in the comments below because we give a mystery box away to one of our most active subscribers every single month. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace out.